Hello, everybody. Um, this is Dave Kilsu, and the other day, someone had um, sent me a message in regards to this journal entry that you see on the screen here, PSEC KTFR and schedule suspended. And um, they had thought, uh, basically, that what I had said uh, was not very cool and was a bit out of line. And I would like to make a public apology to them and anybody else who might feel the same way. Um, it was not intended to come across as anything bad or negative or unprofessional or, you know, whatever other way you might want to phrase it. Um, I have nothing but the utmost respect for Truth Frequency Radio Network, nothing but the utmost respect for Chris Geo, nothing but the utmost respect for Donnie Gilson, and I would never intentionally go out of my way to, you know, do or, or say anything that was in any way disrespectful or, you know, putting them in any sort of a negative light or anything so that was not my intention i did not mean to do that and i apologize to anyone who might have taken it that way um i don't take it as any sort of attack or whatever if someone feels that i've crossed a line or done something that wasn't cool or whatever um if I've made a mistake, then, you know, you guys all have, have full right to, you know, to call me on it. Because the only way that I can learn is to, obviously, first of all, know that I've made a mistake, to have that brought to my attention. And secondly, so that I can understand the mistake in order to, uh, to learn the lesson. Um, so I must admit i'm i'm still not entirely sure what they were offended by or maybe if offended is the wrong word uh thought was uncool unprofessional whatever um i i talk all, all the time on the uh, on the subject of language being being limiting and that no matter um what words that you try to use to make your point there's you know you're not going to be able to have it come across to absolutely everybody in exactly the way that you meant it some people are going to take it as you meant it and other people are not and you know it's kind of a part of the, the human condition i guess um you know there's misunderstandings and I don't see misunderstandings as being a bad thing. I see them as being a part of the learning process. But, um, of course, in some instances, misunderstandings can be problematic. I mean, all throughout history, they cause wars and dramas and all sorts of things. So, um, I just wanted to go over this journal entry right quick. It's not long. And um, if anyone can point out exactly what about this um might be not cool or uncalled for or whatever <laughs> word language phrase you want to use to to describe that general point um i would greatly appreciate having that brought to my attention because i genuinely have no idea um what about this was um was deemed as not cool you know um, so here we go. I said, uh, this is one of those things which happens that is not any particular person's fault and is merely just circumstantial. So right off the bat there, I'm doing my best to make it clear that this is not any sort of a bashing post. It's not a, a, a complaining post. It's not a whining post. Um, it's just updating, you know, my viewers as to what's going on because I had been promoting the time slot for like a week and then all of a sudden there's a change. So I just, I felt it fair to, you know, to just let people know basically what's up. Um, I continue saying 
I know in my other journal about it, I said that I wasn't going to bore you with all the backstory details, but now I'm going to have to, as to relay a clear understanding as to what happened and to what the future may hold. Again, not a negative statement. I apologize if it was taken that way. When I say I'm not going to bore you with all the backstory details, I'm saying that I'm long-winded and I am prone to rant and rant and rant and rant and rant. And that I simply was going to spare people the agony of excessive long-windedness. That is all I meant by that. I apologize if that was taken in any other way. It was not meant as any sort of derogatory or negative. Um, continuing on. The time slot I was going to take on KTFRN was originally that of 32 degrees of insanity with Donnie Gilson. One day he posts a Facebook announcement stating, and by the way, this, this Facebook post that I took this from, completely a public post. Um, he was announcing this to, you know, to his readers, to his listeners. It, it was a public announcement. It was not Marcus private. It was not anything confidential or anything like that. And Donnie said, I'm about ready to announce the most important message I have ever made publicly within the next week. The words that I'm about to say may not be what any of you wish to hear. However, I'm done with the truth movement and the fear everyone wishes to continue spewing. I hope everyone will understand this announcement and wish me the best on any decision that I take. And I I can't blame them. I, God, I, <laughs> I address the you know, the issues of, you know, all the petty bickering and dramas and stuff back and forth within the truth movement all the time. It's like one of my big pet peeves. So, oh, I'm, I'm empathizing with Donnie. I'm relating to him here. I'm sharing his sentiments. I'm not bashing him. I'm not saying he's wrong in anything he's saying. I mean, I'm totally empathizing here. Then I continue with, there are also some health and or family issues he's currently dealing with again public information um he is you know in posts and on the air on the radio and everything else he is talking great length on this um you know you can if you want to know anything more you can you can listen to his radio show archives and read his posts and and whatever and to which he goes into lots of details about things he's been through so you know again um no breaches of confidence or anything. I'm just taking this completely from, from public data and, you know, just putting it in here. I continue with, I can't really blame him for having resigned his post. Those of you who know me well enough to know, I have my own beefs with the truth movement in general and all the petty bickering and infighting and such. Lots of drama, things not getting done, egos going wild. This is why the PSEC intro says it's not a cause, it's not a movement, it's not something you can slap a label onto, it's an idea, it's an intention, and so on. To make it clear that we're just people with our own perspectives, equal human beings going through stuff in life just like you are. A means of calling out to the like-minded and letting them know that they aren't alone. So I stepped into the time slot on KTFRN, also stating to Chris Geo, if Donnie ever wants it back, I'll be happy to step down and surrender the slot. Again, this is not any sort of breach of confidence or, or, or you know, attempting to poke at Chris or anything like that. I mean, to me, it's, it's pretty clear as to what I mean. It means that I respect Donnie. It means that I respect Chris Geo. It means that however they want to roll, I'm cool with it you know, no problem, I'm agreeable, I'm flexible, that, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, looking to do what's right. So, you know, from my perspective, that was a very positive, a very, very agreeable, um, very cooperative statement. And again, I apologize if anybody took it in any other way. Continuing on, all I wanted to do was to have some fun with the Skype Google Hangout simulcasting and hopefully inspire other internet radio hosts to design similar things. And this is true. Um, 
I'd been testing with Wolf Spirit Radio, I'd been testing with Osprey Radio Networks, we simulcasted to Revolution Radio and all sorts of things, and um, I have that on the YouTube channel, and it's a really cool interface to be able to, to have not only the audio, but a video stream, you know, going out. I mean, imagine being able to have guests on internet radio and, you know, be able to see them too and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. I think it's really innovative. And, you know, I'm just doing my best to inspire other people to also use this sort of technology. I mean, I didn't invent the technology. I get no monetary or any other benefit for, you know, promoting it or whatever. I just think it's one of those really cool things. And I would like to see more radio hosts doing it. And, you know, that's that's what I'm looking to inspire. And maybe I will, maybe I won't. Hopefully I do. You know, we'll see. And then I said, suddenly Donnie isn't quite so sure as to whether or not he wants to step down from the KTFRN. And that's, you know, that's the best understanding that I have um, to that. I don't see that as a negative. I see that just as a fact of the situation. Um, I'm not intending to bash Donnie or bash Chris or bash anyone by that statement. It's simply just the facts as best I understand them. You know, the grass is green, the sky is blue, the time slot is suspended. You know, I'm just speaking, you know, just on the facts to the best of my understanding. And again, I apologize if anybody took it in any other way. So continuing on. So for the moment, the time slot is being left as reruns of 32 degrees of insanity until its final decision to either leave or return is made. And again, that's cool. You know, Donnie's run a great show. And, you know, it's it's been really fun to both listen to and participate on that show. And I appreciate Donnie for allowing my participation and Katarina has been on too and you know it's all just been fun and good times for me and so again I'm I'm not sure how that could be taken as anything negative or crossing a line or whatever. If he decides to return I'll be more than happy to play with the Skype Google simulcast link with his show if he would like. That's entirely up to him. If he decides not to return then we can proceed as originally planned. I mean, again, I'm just, like I said before, I'm just having fun with a particular type of interface. And if Donnie comes back and, you know, he would like to share in that and have fun with that with me, if that's something he would allow on his show, then that would be cool. Again, I think it's a really cool, innovative interface. I think it'd be great to, to see more people doing it. So, again, if, uh, if anybody took that, to mean anything else other than I meant it. Again, I, I apologize. And I continue with, I also gave Chris Geo a few other alternate suggestions that he'll have to get back to me on, um, such as doing a, a once a month simulcast. I mean, obviously, in my opinion, doing a once a month thing is a possible solution for resolving any time slot issues or anything like that. Again, I'm just looking to, to test this interface. It doesn't absolutely have to be every week or anything. I mean, I'm just having fun testing an interface and having fun inspiring people. So again, I'm not really understanding why anybody would see that as being negative or, or whatever that's not cool or that's unprofessional or, or whatever. I genuinely don't understand. Um, as well as the idea that... Um, him and Shuri can always just hop onto a PSEC hangout. We can discuss what KTFRN is at, about and promote the network. So, again, I was just offering to put the word out about KTFRN, have a fun conversation, use this interface. I'm not saying that's to be broadcast on KTFRN. I'm just saying me doing my usual thing on YouTube and, you know, putting the word out, having that discussion. Um, bringing more people to Truth Frequency Radio. So, again, I'm also not sure as to how that could have been taken as anything other than that. I said, so we shall see exactly what ends up happening. So thank you all for your patience. If you have any questions, feel free to either post them here or ask Chris, Donnie, or myself. It'll be interesting to see what the future holds, so stay tuned. Again, 
understanding if people have questions about anything to you know obviously direct them to the appropriate place I can't answer questions about truth frequency radio it's not my network I don't run it um, Chris is you know best suited to handle that um, I can't speak on behalf of Donnie for anything that's going on with him or or his show or whatever only he can speak to that and as far as anything with you know my intentions with the you know the simulcasting and the interface and uh, and so on and so forth obviously I've been doing that stuff so I can speak to that so there we have it and again I sincerely and humbly apologize for anybody who might have taken that in the wrong way for any reason and um, I hope that clarifies things and if anyone still feels that anything about this is inappropriate or whatever um, you know please um, clue me in because like honestly I'm completely I'm dumbfounded and confused as to um, why I was told that or what about this could could possibly be you know in any way unprofessional or negative or not cool or again whatever whatever wording phrasing um, anybody wants to use for that so I'm just extremely confused by that honestly totally dumbfounded confused like huh double take you know so um, if anybody wants to share their insights and, and wisdoms and kind of clue me in and school me and give me a few pointers whatever if there's anything that you know they feel that I could have done better with this or shouldn't have done or what have you I'm completely open to that hit me up on DeviantArt hit me up on YouTube hit me up on Facebook on TSU wherever um, you know I'm, I'm totally and completely open to that feedback and if I have made any sort of an error then I would like to know I would like to understand that error so that I don't repeat it in the future. So thank you all for listening, and um, hope you all have a wonderful, awesome day. Thank you.